six 100%s, but why? Oh, let's get this party. That's so arbitrary. Ladies and maniacs, I apologize for this interruption to your regular entertainment. Up until a few seconds ago, I didn't kill everyone in the room. Save slots. I think there's... But then, well... I think there's eight. You know how I do love a captive audience. That is warming you up, pets! And like New Game Plus takes up a save slot. I guess I was thinking it ended 20 years ago, but yeah. Yeah, like all of Disney's old animated movies are still wildly popular. I'll find a way out. All things considered. Contact the warden. Let him know what happened. Don't make promises you can't keep back. Yeah, the 1943 film serial titled Batman has some racism in it, which is very cool. And by cool, I mean not cool, just to be clear. <laughs> There is a, uh, I think there's a censored version of it that, like, cuts out the racism, but I watched the uncensored version, because censorship is lame. Like, they shouldn't have made a racist movie, but, like, they did, and that's part of history, and you can't just pretend that didn't happen, you know? Favorite bat suit? I, there's like 800,000 bat suit variants. I don't know how I could possibly just pick one. That's like an hour and a half. It really? Wow. So yeah, I guess it's good that I didn't watch. That can't be right. The thing is only like four hours. In total. You were joking. Okay. Well, I don't know. I thought you knew something. I don't know why I thought you knew something that I didn't, but... Anyway. Harley thinks she has me trapped in this chamber. She never was very bright. I watched it as it was shown in theaters. No, it's just like... The, the premise of it's a little racist. And then... Um... Vicky Vale sees a Japanese guy and screams a slur. And then later, Batman sees the Japanese guy and screams a slur. And that's that's it. That's all the racism. Like, it's not the most exciting thing ever. What is that stuff? Yeah, I would I would describe it as boring racism. Full of poison gas. Anyone caught in there is dead. Are you gonna get in there and help the Batman? This isn't a simple escape attempt. The Joker's been planning this. Batman's here! Just hold on a little longer, Steve. I can't! You left me here! If you do want to watch an old film serial of Batman, though, there is the 1949 Batman and Robin that has no racism in it, so there's that. Um, I don't know why you'd want to watch that. It is honestly unbearable, but it exists. It doesn't even have a real supervillain. They fight, like, the wizard or some bullshit. At least the Superman serial had, like, Lex Luthor in it. <laughs> Although that one's not great either, to be honest. Every racism movie at least make it funnier, dramatic. 
I mean, it's not like they put racism in it as like a plot point. It's just that the people who made it were racist. And they were making anti-Japanese World War II propaganda. Batman, I'm over here. They came out of no I should go back to the holding cells. Bullock wasn't too smart. He'll have left a trail. Batman, what's happening? That is a good way to put it. Yeah, really. Now, what is actually kind of funny is so they they make the big point about that how they like locked up all the Japanese citizens in little Tokyo or whatever. <laughs> But the one guy they didn't get was the actual Japanese spy. <laughs> and then the whole thing is about Batman stopping the Japanese spy. Oracle, I'm at the holding cells. I'm setting up a crime scene. I can follow traces of alcohol from Frank. So like it wasn't the intent, but like they accidentally implied that what they were doing just didn't even work anyway. <laughs> I've got a trail. Because they didn't actually arrest the Japanese spy. <laughs> Should switch to my forensic scanner and reveal the elevator. Elevator. Unreliable. Oh. 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 What the hell happened? How would you like that, Steven? No way you're following us now. You're trapped down there to me and Mr. J. I'm dead. Got about DLC. <laughs> 100%ing the DLC is not too bad. It's certainly not as bad as 100%ing the main games six or eight times. <laughs> Cause that's brutal. I, don't, I still don't know why you want to do that. Hey Frank, where you been? Joker's got more men on the way. They're coming around the front of the asylum. Gotta stop them here, here. quick. Get over there. Here. Come on, everyone, cover the main entrance. How many are there, Paul? I mean, if you want to compromise, just don't do the crimes. And then you won't have to. And also, if you want to make it even easier on yourself, do uh, do all your extra playthroughs in New Game Plus, because New Game Plus actually takes up a save slot. And you can New Game Plus off of your New Game Plus. By the time you get to your last playthrough, you'll be like super overpowered. All NG plus. Okay, that works too. Yeah, the main compromise would be just the crimes then, or just not doing the crimes. I definitely, I kind of want to do an ultimate playthrough of them before Spider-Man 2 comes out as well. Like specifically ultimate any percent. Because I've never done the max difficulty for uh, 2018 oh, the in, uh, in a first playthrough. Joker, I've only ever done it in New Game Plus. And I didn't fully... I beat the main story of Miles on whatever the difficulty below Ultimate is. But I gave up when I was trying to 100% it. Ultimate's not that bad in New Game Plus. Uh, did you really think it was going to be that easy, Bats? I've sent a few more of my boys your way. You gotta be, like, a little careful in the stealth encounters, but that's pretty much it. Um, I don't... I think it's like level 250.
because it's just your health or whatever. If you double check the NG Plus file setup in the Spider-Man speedrunning Discord or wherever else they have it posted, then uh, they'll have the exact number. The thing is, the only way to level up after a certain point in that game is to just play the game. So if you're if you're maxing out save files anyway, then like I don't know, doing that first and then maxing out the save files seems kind of was a massive unnecessary to me. I don't think there are that many actually good mods, though. I mean, there's, like, different suits, I guess. But that's pretty much it. Oh, is there a mod for swinging faster? That's cool then. You are performing just below my predict. I mean, it's fine. It makes the game more fun than it's fair. And it's not like it makes the game easier, it just makes it take less time to get around. There's a supply of explosive. Like, uh. When I play Skyrim, I usually bump up the uh, carry weight. Looks like there was a scuffle. Like with the console commands. There could be a clue as to where she took Gordon. Because it's like, I could just spend an hour walking around everywhere, which I'm going to do anyway. But I don't want to, so I'll just increase my carry weight, and then I can carry all this stuff and run. Const is there constant chatting? I mean, you just turn down the dialogue volume for that, I guess. I want all the doctors rounded up. 
Search every inch of the medical building. I need it. Search every room, every office, and every trash can. If another doctor tries to run and get out of the building, then you won't. Yeah, the crimes aren't great, but... And leave you to die. I didn't mind it too much personally, but yeah, like if you're not into that, then it's kind of the worst. Why does it's the only thing though. Everything else about 100% the game is fine. I mean, Insomniac's busy working on uh, Spider-Man 2 right now. I don't think they're going to be adding any skins to the game. <laughs> Maybe we'll get them in Spider-Man 2, though. Hello? Is there a doctor in the house? No? I seem to have a pile of wounded henchmen with medical attention. The room's clear. We're safe now. I'd have solved all the puzzles by now. That one could have been solved by a monkey. My family's blood. A challenge completed. Can you do more? That Venom statue does look pretty cool. I I thought about it, but I would have had to buy it. Like, it's probably already sold out. I expect that it would be hard to find now. And I would have had to buy it, like, right when they announced it, and I didn't have the money for it. So. And I now I really don't have the money for it either. That means some of the... It's the back! Medical staff needing my help. Will all patients please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation? Our findings have linked to pain. About all of the psychosis in itself is neurotoxic. And whether potentially damaging changes to the. Guys, is psychosis itself neurotoxic? Oh dear. Don't get too full of yourself, Bats. I'm just softening you up. Think of this as a preview to the main event. You'll see.
Remember, a happy patient is a quiet patient. So I'm not sure I can keep it a secret any longer. I've got two old friends coming to the party. That had to be murder. Nah, that was an accident. It's manslaughter. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine Yeah. Whoops, that's not all right. Yeah, nobody dies, and if somebody dies, then it's an accident. And if it's not an accident, then it's someone else's fault. <laughs> and if it's not someone else's fault, then, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Joker did it. See, I wouldn't have had to kill that guy if Joker didn't break out of prison. So really, it's Joker's fault. All patients, please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. Should <laughs> slip away in the hospital. Yeah, that's the doctor's fault at that point. Can't blame Batman for your medical complications. There was a chance you could have died as a result of having the shit beaten out of you by Batman. You probably shouldn't have been a criminal in the first place. I'm sorry, Jim. Barbara. Not familiar with that reference. Trash. I haven't seen the newest trailer for Blue Beetle, but yeah, from the first one, I'm not totally sold on the movie, unfortunately. I had high hopes because I figured if they were moving it from being a, um... Because that movie and Batgirl were both supposed to be, um, like HBO Max releases, and then they decided they didn't want to do HBO Max releases anymore. And they killed Batgirl because it supposedly wasn't good enough. But they decided to make Blue Beetle Can you hear me? a theatrical release. So I had high hopes for it because of that. Like they thought it was good enough to bother putting in theaters. But, uh, oh. Nope. 
not not totally sold on what they've shown so far. It wasn't Gordon. Crane's gas must have affected me more than I thought. Are you lost, little bat? Having trouble figuring out what's real and what's just a vision of your twisted little mind? Same here. <laughs> just roll with it, bats. It gets easier once you get in. It really does. Yeah, if if Flash was one of the best movies they've ever seen and they were so optimistic about it doing well and like Blue Beetle turns out to be bad, then yeah, like what the fuck was wrong with Batgirl? <laughs> Either they like totally lost touch and like Batgirl was actually the good one or it was really bad. <laughs> Like really, really bad. Oh, I forgot. Also makes you want to see the movie. Yeah, like seriously. Somebody leak it already. That said, from some of the on-set stuff that made its way around, um... The, the Firefly costume was pretty questionable, I gotta say. Which is a shame, because I'm sure Brendan Fraser would have done great. Station interview 44. Yet another interview with Edward Sigma. I to make up my mind. I mean, I don't have any issue with the, like, use of CGI. Um, the humor did come off as a little cringe. I'm hoping the trailer is, like, a little misleading in that regard, but we'll, we'll see. Now that was a good pain. Easy. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Oppenheimer. I'm not going to watch it opening weekend, but... I definitely will go see that in theaters. It's gonna be one to not miss. As Gotham's veins slowly filled with pain and suffering, the effects were felt everywhere. My father fell first, infected by some foul. My mother lived on. What's the deal with Dead Man's Point? It's been a favorite suicide location on Arkham Island for over 100 years. Yeah, I know. I once saved an unfortunate inmate from leaping off into the rocks below. Both just for the meme. Entrance, and over the years have moved a number yeah. of supplies here. Seems like a lot of people are. Supposedly, the movie is all practical. All practical visual effects and no CGI. I was exposed to a wealth of new ideas. I began my day returning home in good spirits, eager to see my wife and friends. I ended it kneeling in their blood, 
broken fragments of my life pouring through dripping red fingers. Disabling countermeasures. Security deactivated. We'll be running asylum. I honestly don't know. I'm finishing this category and then I'll we'll go from there. Depends on how long this category takes and what I feel like doing by the time I'm done with it. I'm going after her. She's heading to the mansion with cash. I'm going. Up yeah, apparently they found a way to do to do a nuclear explosion. Practically, I'm. Very interested in what that looks like. And I'm definitely going to watch the behind the scenes on that movie when that drops. Sorry, boss. Took a little longer to find him than you figured it would. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try and be more precise next time I'm planning an Oops. Why are we the ones trying to open it? This ain't even the main door. If we even get it open, we don't know what it'll do. Hey, go here. You even touch it. You remember me, right? He was an idiot. those miss? I think all three of those batterings missed. That's really embarrassing. Hey, demon. Thanks for the good luck. Eh, yeah, one of them hit, but I'll have to remember those teeth later. Hello. My name is Dr. Gretchen Do you understand me? download save files for the speedrun. How do you actually use them? Um, you find where the save files are, which will be different depending on which version of the game you own. Um, you can check PC Gaming Wiki to see where they are, and then you basically delete one of your existing files and then drop in the new one. Rename it, and yeah, that's all there is to it. I'd want to check your health insurance. <laughs> Looks like the Black Gate thugs have access to the armory. There's also a, um, we have a tool that makes that a little easier. Um, the save file replacer. Um, if you join the Arkham Speedrunning Discord, there's a pinned message in the city channel that has a video that explains how to set that up. Like, it's obviously, that video is specific to City, but it's the same setup for all the games, basically. That Discord has a lot of good information in general. So it's well done. the place to be for this sort of thing.
Hey, Robin. Oh. I skipped that really fast with the mouse wheel. That's interesting. It was like, it almost felt like I broke it. That's how fast I skipped it. Knife guy's really just not ready there, huh? It's interesting. What do you call the detective who is only halfway to the end? Loser? Only halfway to the end? This is pretty late to be getting that message, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. Just means I'll have to keep track of it later. Should I run today? Nope, not yet. You. Listen to me carefully. Come any closer, and I'll find the room crimson with her blood.
will always help those who are stuck. Oracle. You have to you have to hit him, yeah. Um I think if you miss it like alerts him and then you're screwed, yeah. He's got a really oversized hitbox though, so it's kind of hard to miss. You miss Green Arrow just like comes out of nowhere, shoots you in the back, and tells you that you've failed this city. Um, in this game specifically, no, I don't think so. Um, in Arkham City, there's a couple mentions of Keystone and Metropolis. And same in Arkham Knight. There's like a vague reference to the Flash in Knight. Um, and Lex Luthor is both mentioned and you get like a voicemail from him at Wayne Tower. Another one? Can it be? No, there's no way. You can't find them all. It's I think in night there's also a uh, there's like a Cord Industries building. There might be a Queen Industries building. It's definitely something related to Queen Industries in night. So Knight definitely went with, Knight definitely has the most wider references to the DC Universe, but I don't think, I don't think this game has any. I've seen worse. Oh, okay. Cool. He's taking Whoops. I forgot I can mouse wheel for that too. There's always a way out. Always. You stay here. Lock this gate when I leave. It's like a point six gold that hardly matters, but I just wasn't expecting it. At last, I thought you'd never find it. And I guess they add up. So you found it at last. What have you been doing with your time?
I just meant this one was mediocre. <laughs> Activated. Yeah, it's a little confusing that I made it yellow, but like that's the only way I can confidently tell it apart from the light green. The like default gold color is not clear enough to me. Some people use the rainbow thing, which is also nice, but it's too distracting for me. There is no way you were doing this alone. Who's helping you? Nope, haven't even finished a run today. Game really wouldn't be the same without it, honestly. It would be a different video game. One that doesn't waste your time for no reason. <laughs> No, there's just, uh, there's like a little puzzle you have to do to get rid of the gas. I'm losing patience. You're cheating. You none of this stuff, none of the Riddler stuff is like missable. At least in a casual playthrough. the game great is a slow motion cutscene when you accidentally grapple in the sewers. Oh god. Yeah, I hate that so much. Every time, and the game prioritizes. Uh, 
the game prioritizes it over the actual grapple point that you can grapple. It's so rude. A lot of science you can learn from this game. Um, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Okay. Spring was a turning point, a new beginning, a glorious realization. with their giant bottomless pits. Well, Amadeus, Ar Amadeus Arkham famously hates mentally ill people, so he didn't really mind if they fell into bottomless pits. OSHA definitely does not operate in Gotham City. Crazy again to crash the party early. And when I say crazy, I mean I go. Word of warning. Anyone sees a dribbling fool barking in the moon? Oh, they just burning like a kid. Walk up to them. Put your arm around them. Show them that you care before you ring them. <laughs> men are all wearing the security. I'll need to take out the operator first.
Joker wanted the entrance. Take that IRL. That would be brutal. I should pick up Harley's trail again so I can find it. Of course it worked. I'm going to need something to get over this ravine. Fly a plane through the garden roof. I mean, it's Batman. I'm sure they'd understand, and they wouldn't even, they wouldn't even ask. Also, they're probably not overly concerned about that, given all the damage that Ivy ends up doing. In fact, by the end of the night, I think that whole room is just destroyed anyway. Oh, actually, no. I was thinking of the other room, the room you fight Ivy in. So yeah, that room's still there. They wouldn't question it. They just figure it was one of the giant plants. What? That pod appears to contain similar spores. That happens sometimes, though. It's to not too last year. crazy. They're deadly.
Yeah, it seems like they pretty much just abandoned this place as soon as they could get something else up and running. And I mean, like, yeah, like, how do you even clean up a giant tree blasting through your building, you know? Do you? I think you just don't. You probably just moved everyone to Blackgate until, uh, until Arkham City opened, and then they turned Blackgate into a shopping mall. Close to Croc. These floating platforms will hurt me. But it will also send sound waves through the water, giving away my position to Croc. I'll need to move as slowly as possible. Average Gotham mishap, yeah. Most cities would refer to that as a fucking nightmare. Gotham calls it Tuesday. Yeah, you can glide out to it, but it's not like there's anything to do out there. But yeah, like, the island does physically exist in the game world because it's a 3D model. Flying outside of the, like, gliding outside of the world boundaries is relatively simple in all the games. Mr. Twitch fan. Welcome to the stream. Freeze grenade climbing is a way to do it. There's there's like a million ways to get out of the world boundaries. Like it's it's actually not hard at all. Chevrolet, good to see ya. Thanks for the good luck. people you know from school. That's terrifying. Oracle, I'm getting out of here. What about Croc? He won't be a problem. Here it's always in an Amazon box, or almost always at least. If it fits inside an Amazon box, they'll put it in an Amazon box here. I feel like it's how it should be. 
but it is also a bit of a waste of cardboard, so I don't know. I don't live in the same city I went to high school in, so I haven't had that problem yet. Excuse me. recommend the x-men movies um the old ones are kind of hit or miss i think one and two are pretty good but i also am sort of nostalgia influence there i don't know how well they've really held up to someone who's like never watched any of them before um first class is worth watching i would say days of future past is really worth watching um Not a lot of people liked Apocalypse, but I like it. Uh, skip Dark Phoenix. Um, skip X-Men Origins Wolverine. Skip... Eh, the Wolverine's okay. And then Logan is like the best X-Men movie. Whoops, I didn't re-get storage. Oracle, we've got another problem. And both Deadpool movies are decent. Riddler, some kind of giant Joker robot? Unfortunately, nothing that simple. I'm at the main sewer junction, and it appears to be polluted. Yeah, I liked the Wolverine, but it wasn't like the most exciting movie. Um, whoops, forgot what I was doing there. According to the plans I have on file, there are three control rooms. The first is directly above you. I'll shut them all down. What will happen if this Titan stuff reaches Gotham? It won't reach Gotham. in the same universe, yeah. All oh, right, you can't fucking do that. now because you said you hadn't watched X-Men. Oh, 
Oh, I sorry, I got confused. Okay, um, yeah, don't worry about X Men Origins Wolverine. That's the short answer to that one. I just actually don't watch that movie. That movie is not canon, and it's terrible. That's that's a reasonable way to look at it, yeah. It's sort of its own thing, but it is technically I argued with the latest group of young part of the X-Men universe. They bored me with theories and ideas. That they had no I mean, I don't think anyone, like, explicitly said it was non-canon, but, like, Only Deadpool contradicts it and X-Men First Class contradicts it, so, like, it's pretty clear to me that they're just kind of pretending that didn't happen. I guess that's true. But I mean, he also kills Ryan Reynolds in real life, so like, you can't necessarily take that at face value. <laughs> hey, Kenneth. Yeah, the pace is all right so far, but we'll see if it holds up. Still plenty of things that can go wrong. belongs to me now. Yeah, this is what happens when you acknowledge the pace. It immediately changes. My map will help you, Batman. I think it throws people off because it feels like we're a lot of the way through the category in this in this because we're like almost done the game but this is like the halfway point basically <laughs> so there's still like half the run left let's discuss 
your obsession with Batman. Because even when you know the backtracking is like 45 minutes or whatever, it doesn't feel like it should be 45 minutes. It feels like it should be like 10. The mask, the weapons, the scare tactics. The beast was too strong. His animal savagery nearly cost me my life. I took my frustrations out on a lone patient. His case notes suggested he was a paranoid schizophrenic. His pleas, as I beat him to death, suggested much more. His confessions were illuminating. My path was clear. part of the game I was in. Every day I found the patients more distracting. Their insane muttering, hey, gold. constant twitching, disgusting me. There was only one way to cure this evil. Only one way to purify the city and ensure its future. I needed to prepare myself. I needed to be ready. I think Gotham would be more or less stable if Arkham had never existed. Damn. That's suboptimal. Wow, that was optimal. I don't even know what I just did, but that was really fast. <laughs> I mean, if they had all their funding in one facility, maybe it would be better. Be less breakouts. 
He will be transferred to Dr. Whistler's care as of next week. Good morning, Doctor. How are you today? Fine, thank you. The guy in charge might not be a psychopath whose only real goal is to murder all of the mentally ill people. Maybe less abusive guards. Ah, I wouldn't go that far. Prison guards being abusive is not a Gotham specific problem. Unfortunately. Oh, something about a surprise party for Batman. I forget the rest. You know Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edward, you didn't know anything you got Lies could be a thing. What did Joker say? You forget, Doctor. What do you think you can do, Batman? I am angry. My baby is learning every move. You and your kind are arrogant enough to think you can destroy us. You will fail. And we, we will become the most powerful force on the planet. Yeah, you can pretty much ignore them. I mean, they can kill you if you're like a complete idiot, but no one can resist poison. Like as you saw, I just ran right past them without really worrying about it. I've got myself a little security, Batman. not easy in a run <laughs> have you died to them Feeling casually is different I keep throwing too late damn it just through that whole cycle It's easier to not die to them in a run, because you ignore so much of the combat and stuff that your health is pretty much always full.
I mean, they gotta make it interesting somehow. Do you want to be able to just walk across the island completely unobstructed? Doesn't seem like a very fun challenge. And there's ways to deal with them if you're just playing the game normally. You just gotta like pay attention and not just like sprint past everything. Yeah, the game doesn't really make it clear that you can just crouch walk past them. Um, in my casual playthrough, I just like ran right up to them and smashed them. worked well enough on the lower difficulties at least. I'm impressed. That was one of the more taxing ones. Yeah, I could also. F I also did figure out on my own that you could like just throw batarangs at the spores. Yeah, the game definitely needed a little bit more uh, direction on the fact that you could sneak past them because nobody seems to know that. <laughs> I mean, the game, the game just doesn't tell you that at all. It's just, like, something you gotta try, and then you realize that it works. Yeah, they, they still, like, puff up when you're near them. And you're crouching, but they do, they don't shoot. Or at least they're not supposed to shoot. That also doesn't help because that, that's pretty counterintuitive. Just unfortunately, it's just not a well designed mechanic in that specific sense. It's been a while since I've done that. I think I might have done it once when I like first played the game. And that was it. track of how much stuff I'm picking up. Yeah, if you try to go to this door earlier in the game, he like smashes it or something.
It's really just there so that they have a reason for that door to be locked at that point. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Well, it's probably just because none of the lunatics interrupted me in Arkham North. I have no idea. I've only ever done it once. I imagine the game either only lets you do it once or it lets you do it forever. I had a sudden pang of conscience. But yeah, I, I don't actually know off the top of my head. On the choices I made. I asked him if it was a sin to kill in order to save a life. The holy man said all life was sacred. But a judgment would not be a Stops you the second time? That makes sense. If I acted to save another. Haitian interview number one. So, I'm the officer. No items? You know what they say. You never forget your first time. I'll try. Oh, you already have. Tell me, why do you do the things you do? What do you do? Yeah, not quiet. It's been a thing for a few weeks now, but yeah. Like the Harley ones specifically. They're definitely not the best. take well it's they probably didn't have time to do another take they both had a lot of other work to do on this game <laughs> story-wise the early ones are the most interesting eh, I don't know if I agree with that I think they're all pretty interesting story-wise Yeah, these could really have used a few uh, retakes. Are you serious? What the fuck, Batman? Oh my god. That's so fucking rude. Alright. 
Note to self, always, always, always keep an eye on the riddle counter in this part of the game, because that is some fucking dog shit. Ideally, I would have duped that tape and not gotten that pop-up at all, but that was just incredibly rude. What happened? I just, I don't even know how to explain it. Don't worry about it. I watched in silence as he brought in the woman young. Her skin, now a venomous green. The wanton creature no longer looked like a human being, much less a woman. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Yet he has once again delivered this female atrocity to our care. Once I have dealt with the monster, I think it will be time. He's crazy. This tape's really good, though. Gets me every time. This one's not bad either. I think it's really just the second and third one. You did it. Um, hopefully that's fine. God damn it, can I? Not Harley talks in them. The last one is all about Harley. Down on the ground, down on the ground. I mean, it's about Joker too, but like, I don't know. Tell me, how did you work out where I was? Do you hear me? I, Edward Nigma. Well, oh. Like the second and third one just aren't the best. We needed a little more time. Yeah. Alright, somehow I only lost like 10 seconds, so I guess that's fine. It's not, it's not that it's random, it's that um, it depends on how many trophies you dupe earlier, which is not necessarily predictable. <laughs> Ideally, I would keep track of the riddle count and know when it's going to happen and prepare accordingly, but I... often forget to do that. Marks exist, dude. Just abort, honestly. Don't try to max out the benchmarks, that's not worth it. Can't 
get a real cool Reddit post. Trust me, you can. No one will care. Just so the percentage is in the main menu and it's good enough for Reddit. I mean, if you want to make it harder for yourself for no real reason, I mean, you do you. But uh, yeah, I did not think you meant like like 6x max percent when you said 100% the game a couple times. Trophy duping. Duping trophies messes up the riddle count. and it kept broadcasting to you. That's weird. Can't imagine why that would happen. Maybe that's hard coded or something to happen, whether Riddler's locked up or not. Maybe it was just that one specifically. I mean, even in even like a normal playthrough, a normal first playthrough, you can lock up everybody before um, before finishing the game, before finishing the main story. Just forgot about you. Whoops. There is a remaster for the PS4 and Xbox One of Asylum and City. But it's dog shit. Hey, 
Hey Zeus, thanks for the good luck. Ah, uh, just dog shit for everything. It makes the games, it like completely changes the art style of the games in a very, very bad way. combo on the Dolatron. I guess that makes sense. Ugh, this late game is not going well. Uh, just, just to be clear, when I say art style, I mean like all the textures are different and the lighting is different, like that sort of thing. How could I not see it until now? It's still asylum, and it's still city. It's just, it looks worse, really. Um, I don't think Bubbles ever ran the remaster. I don't know why he would. With all his 100% runs were on PC. My skin crawled. Unless he just did it as like a one-time thing or something. Kissed the glass, fighting the urge to dash the woman's head through the glass. I let her continue. The damnable clown might have shared secrets with her that would be useful once the mad dog has been executed. I'm sure. A lot of people who have never seen the remaster before seem to think the PC version is the remaster. If not willingly, then certainly. Which is kind of funny to me. After that, a lobotomy. Yes, I guess the PC versions really just look that good. So young. But her lust has put the reputation of Arkham in stink. Oh, yeah, RTA means real-time attack in the context of speedrunning. The very thing. There is no other way to ensure a silence. Yeah, I don't know why he puts that in his title. It really doesn't matter. And it's confusing in the context of Batman. Again, I Acronyms in general are dog shit. Watching him. No one can provide a cure. He laughs in the face of those who try. Amadeus would not have let him live, and neither should I. What? What's the issue with speedrunning the remasters? They're just not on PC, so they're not ideal for speedrunning. That's all there is to it. Because console in general is not ideal for speedrunning. There's not really anything about Return to Arkham specifically that's worse than the other console versions. Never underestimate Carl, man. He 
may be a janitor, but he's also got a black belt. <laughs> Now after you after you fight the guys he like asks if you're okay and you're and Batman's like I eat punks like that for breakfast Yeah, that checks out. I like this idea of like Quincy deciding he's gonna murder the Joker and Joker just thinks it's funny. The monster looked at me, expressionless. He ran my blade slowly across my forehead. The smile cracked across his Um, I think it just stops showing it when you have any upgrade points, maybe. But I actually don't know, to be honest with you. I don't need to buy any upgrades from this point on. Must have been prayed. Another one who doesn't deserve to live. Why do these people thrive on chaos? Yeah, the Riddler, all the Riddler stuff on its own gives you, I think, enough to buy all the upgrades. Since his escape, and, uh, the game thinks I have 290 Riddler trophies, so, yeah, probably. I have not seen the trailer for that. I have no idea if I'm gonna watch that movie. If Arkham, I don't really watch trailers very often in general. Then I will know I did my best. I will be remembered. Damn it. Damn it. That's not optimal. Yeah, there's a movie about him, I guess. Seen worse. I've seen worse.
What am I doing? No. I said I didn't do that on hard. If I did that on a hard, that would have been bad. Yeah, it feels like there should be like the Arkham guards back or something, but I guess they just wanted to not have stuff in your way while you're trying to 100% the game, which is pretty fair. That's like the best Riddler line in the game. <laughs> I'm being upset about the teeth. He's at his most flabbergasted there. Yeah, everyone went out for coffee at the same time. Hmm. You're off the clock now, nice. So weird. Why does that zip not work properly? I guess maybe because all these doors are open. Maybe that's normal. I'm just not used to doing that zip here because in uh, on hard you're holding onto gargoyle storage this whole time, so you can't do any of those zips. I am the spirit of Amadeus. Even though Amadeus had long since passed. Yeah, well, the, the post game takes place before the end game, obviously. Just after you defeat Joker, you go get all the riddles and stuff, and then you're good. Oh, I could have done the zip here, too. Whoops. I was honored to continue oh, well. this work. That's fine. To cleanse this city. If you are strong, you're... All right, Amadeus, where are you? You are strong-minded enough to deduce my identity. My name is Quincy Sharp. Oh. It wasn't Amadeus. It's just Quincy. my story, and I pray it is healthy on your part. I trust that through my writings, you will do what is right. Please, I implore you, continue my work. This city deserves a savior. Continue my work. All right, just four more things to wrap up, then we're done. Now that would be a twist.
in isolation since the attack on the guard last week. As I wait for him to be brought up to him, I have had time to review his notes. Come on. He has no empathy for his victims. Deep down, I believe he views all of us as potential victims. Doc, are you okay? I'm happily. He's sad. He broke out of isolation. Gone. Oh, gone. Don't worry, Doc. Alright. That's it. That's Hundo done. Now we just gotta go fight some titans and kill Joker. I mean, severely maim Joker. Hundred percent is the entire game finished after being Clayface. Um, you you have to uh, do stuff after Clayface. Like there's even if it was optimal and we wanted to, um, there's no way to do everything before Clayface. I can't remember if Deadshot's one of them, it might be. Um, and the political prisoners. Well, that's just because of how it's rarered out. That's not because we have to do it last. And we do Riddler last, actually. Oh, uh, okay. This is gonna be a little gross. Oh god. No! Okay. Eh, alright. Yeah, and you can't get all the Riddler stuff before Clayface. But like even in New Game Plus, doing Riddler, um... Ah, I don't know. Actually. Okay. Cool. I've seen worse. Uh, have seen worse. Remember, easy, easy combat, not hard combat, easy combat. It won't kill you to smile, that's... Excuse me, bats. In you come, boys. I've softened them up, boys.
Ah, only yoinked one. We are exactly one minute off world record now. Oh. Cool. <laughs> That's improvement. This run can still be so much better. You take anything you throw at me, bats. You can't beat me. I'm actually going to win. Ready for the I saw a best down too. I gotta check. What? I'll never let you win. Never. 213.07? Okay, okay. That's some good breathing room, actually. That gives me, like, a minute and a half of breathing room right now. So I just need, like, 30 more seconds of golds, and then I think we're good. Thank you all for the GGs. Maybe 45 seconds.